Now we have a haunted mansion. And I'm sure you guys have seen those stairs before. Okay, so first, looks like we're locked in. Not bad detail outside. Always take a look outside, you never know what you'll find. Doesn't look like much, so into the mansion we go. And right off the bat are greeted by Nagati. Gotta be careful now because a lot of negative energy is on Penso's stage. But we get introduced to our first new costume, Pounding Robot, which lost its texture there for a moment. Does the same as the Pounding Pig, but destroys steel blocks. Very nice. Very handy. Okay. What's next? Looks like I could actually teleport outside if I so chose. a nice introduction showing how much um, pensive Piero does not want us here okay can I get across that I probably could but I probably couldn't get back worth a shot I got it can't get back Nope. Not a big deal. We're far from the checkpoint anyway. I will be recollecting a lot of costumes, so uh, expect that. Anyways, there it is. I'll take that key, thank you. Ugh. I nearly fall through a window. See, told you we'd be getting it back. Ah, this room. Pensive is not very happy. All right. Now watch the shadows. That's all I can. The advice I can really give. Oh no, Tim's! I saw that- <laughs> I've never actually seen that before, that was great! I've only got three Tims, don't tell me the others got squished. this costume again so let's bring in some costumes that'll help us out here <laughs> oh my goodness that was funny <laughs> uh, yeah I'll reflect this one okay let's see if this works the way I hope Yes, it does. Sweet. I can still get to the bout. Another bout with Lance. They are getting a little quicker with the, the uh, triggers now, so be prepared.
Wow, that went a lot faster than I remember it. You can see they're getting longer, too. Ooh, this one. that happens. It's always the last one that is the worst. Uh, you miss one, and no statue. That means I'm gonna have to reset this chapter and come back for it. Uh, oh, I think there was a hidden pathway somewhere, too, that I overlooked. Thank you, Tim. No, I think this is the path I was thinking of. I can't do anything here yet. Not until I get a specific costume, at least. And we're actually nearing the end of this act. And that is new. Negative energy that just spills over. But this is the costume I was thinking of. Merry Ghost. It lets you fly over lava and swamps. These swamps of negative energy. Definitely a costume I re recommend collecting a bunch of sparrows of. Um, I want that key. Thank you. There we go. May as well grab this since we can now. Put me over. Thank you. There. We're making some pretty decent progress at least. Thank you for the key, Tim. The fact that they can survive on the negative energy is nice too. Just to be on the safe side. Is it just me or is this thing starting to spin a smidge faster? Okay, these loading zones are acting really weird lately. Anyways. Wrong one. Grab a spare. here. It's easier to see from here, honestly. Okay. Oh, yay! Drops. Oh, I guess we kind of are in time for the spooky season, aren't we? Okay. Aw, you found a baby? Okay, come here. You too, huh? Oh my. Okay. There we go. Just drops. Okay. Looks like I'm pretty much set then. To fight. 
uh, game. There we go. Lance and his gatekeepers. This thing. Oh, right. This costume's too light for that. Oh, I gotta wait for the electricity to wear off. Okay. Alrighty. If you feel confident enough using Air Cat, you can. I don't have that confidence right now. I'd rather wait till the electricity just wears off. There we go. Oh, great, more of those plants. Okay, just cause I feel like I'm gonna need it. I am not having my Tims eaten on me again. Okay, some point! There we go. Now, if I'm remembering right, you can get up above as well and there's a statue hidden up there, but again, costumes from later. Okay, I want a Tim count. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Oh, now we get to take on Pensa's Nagati form. And also realize how his heart came to be here. And I don't think I have the right costumes for this either. Okay. Well, let's see how Attilio Cassini ended up here. His indecisive fear of rejection. A lot of clockwork to seal that heart away, huh? Anyways, the form he ended up taking, or I guess I should say the form that had manifested is Princess Mary. She's now just given us a hint to one of the fight styles. I'll see if I know the rest. Oh, I got one more of these. That's one. Is the other costume I need here? Yes, it is. I need a key. Shoot. I need that key. I don't think I'll be able to do this this turn, but I can most certainly try. Where is it? Nope, not enough time. Oh well. Now, how was this one done? I think it was just hitting one of these. I missed. Okay, we'll try this again. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by this. Oh, thank goodness I didn't. Okay. It's giving me the time for it, but I want the other phases. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Kind of. I 
we go. That's one of them. And now, now that I'm prepared for this one, come on. I hit it. Good. <laughs> Those should be the three fighting styles. Now Attilio has been repaired for his heart. Or I guess we've returned his courage. Awesome, we got the styles. Now, curiosity's sake, anyone else notice that the princess looks awfully familiar? <laughs> You'll find out, don't worry. Oh boy, but yeah, I was expecting that chapter to be a mess, and yep, it was a mess. <laughs> uh, I always have a rough time with Pensa Piero's stage. But it is the most unique stage, and that Gatekeeper Nagati we fought? Only place it shows, I believe. No. Maybe? No. Um, it's another one of the style of Gatekeepers from Chapter 1 and 6. That's what it is. Brain can't work! <laughs> Anyways, let's go hatch that other egg. There we go. <laughs> landed right on his head. Oh, he's got the funky hairstyle. Come on, little guy. Come and eat some drops. Now, we've got three stages left. 10, 11, and 12. These are the most difficult of the stages because they are the more, well, two of them are much more open-ended. And the last one, even as linear as it is, has a lot in it. But, here's another thing I'm going to point out, too. So far, we've been hearing every stage performance with Leo and the stage masters and the language known as Balinese, the language of Balan Wonderworld. There are English versions of those songs. How you get them is getting all of the statues in each stage. I'm going to be doing that cleanup for the end, but just so you guys don't have to wait for me to do all of that, I had pre-recorded the English performances for chapters 10, 11, and 12, which is fitting because each one of them has three different songs that will play. So if you guys want to hear those songs early, go ahead and collect uh, the statues for the first earlier chapters. You should have enough costumes now to actually get them. I'm going to be handling that cleanup for a little bit later, because I want to get these stages done first. 
but I thought it's something I'd point out that if you guys want to hear them early, go ahead, um, collect the statues, or, meh, most people I know will probably just look it up on YouTube. <laughs> but I will be editing in the English performances when we get to them, starting with chapter 10. So, for now, I'm gonna let the Tims kind of just blast through and have fun here, and stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Balan Wonderworld. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time.